Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create a CAST account as well as use CAST to access some of Reach's virtual recreation opportunities. CAST is a streaming platform that can be used to share media with friends in a party-like setting. So we're going to show you how to use CAST for your either computer or laptop today. There are apps available in the app stores for your phone or tablet as well. So when you sign up for a reach activity that uses CAST, you might receive an email that looks like this. I'm going to copy the link. Instead of clicking on it, just because CAST requires a Google Chrome browser to use. So if you click on it, it might not, um, it might go to your default browser instead of the Google Chrome browser. So just keep note that you have to have this Google Chrome browser downloaded before you can move on. So let's pull up that browser. Next, I'm going to paste my link into the browser. All right, and then you should get a notification that says a uh, reach staff shared a cast party with you. Here you'll see two options. The first is to open in the app. If you click it, it will prompt you to download the cast app straight to your desktop. You can choose that if you'd like, it's not necessary. For the purpose of today, we're just going to click watch on the web. load here. So now you'll be prompted to either create an account or log in. If you don't have an account and you need to make one, you just click this button here, create account. You would add a username, an email, and a password, and click sign up. I already have an account, so I'm going to just log in. Click this orange button to log in. All right, and next you'll get this message that says the party is private. All of Reach's parties are private. You'll need to request to join the party to start watching. So underneath the lock symbol here, you'll click this button that says send request. All right, and now you will wait for a reach staff to uh, approve your request. If you send your request like pretty close to the time of the event starting, a reach staff will add you in right away. So now you're going to wait for reach to accept you. And then once you're accepted, you'll see that you are now a member of the party. Here I am right here. So this is the part that can kind of trip some people up. It can be hard to know what to do next when you're looking at this screen. Just remember to scroll down to the bottom of the page. And you'll find an orange button here at the bottom that says join party. Go ahead and click this. Now you are in. So this is what the inside of a cast party looks like. On the left side, you can see the name of the party. You can see that it's private. Um, you can see who is casting. That means sharing their media. At reach parties only, uh, the reach staff will be able to share media. So I'm not doing that right now. So no one's casting, but Right below here, you can see who's in the party, who's watching. On the right side, you can click on this circle button to edit your account information. You can look at your notifications, or you can look at your messages. On the bottom right side here, there's a little typing bar where you can send messages to other casters in the reach party. 
when you do it, your name will show up. And your message will appear. If you click this small heart button, you can choose from a couple uh, reactions. Those are kind of fun to do, like if you're watching a movie and say something really fun happens, funny, you can send a reaction. Um, on the far right hand corner here, there's a smiley face button. If you click this, you can pick some emojis to send. And then if you press the enter button on your keyboard, that will send. So another thing to note is that if you join the party and I'm streaming media, but you're having a hard time to see it, seeing it, an important thing to do could be to look at the left hand side. You might see a little square here that prompts you. Um, to make it bigger, if you click right in the middle of the square, it will make the picture bigger on your screen. And voila, that's really all there is to uh, using CAS for the desktop. So if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to a reach staff person. Or otherwise, I recommend spending some time flying around. Enjoy. See you at the next CAS party.